my class really focuses on challenging students' assumptions. One of the key things that I want them to be prepared for is to come in with an open mind and be willing to take risks. And so that involves just being present in class itself. And uh, again, out of the respect thing, I let them know that they're adults. They can choose whether or not they want to attend my class. Um, but I, I say I want to try to make this sufficiently compelling for you to attend. And if you do attend, I want you to be ready to be a participant in this class. And so one of the most challenging things I think instructors face, and I certainly face, is getting students to complete readings prior to class. And what I found is if the readings are particularly theoretical or arcane or abstract, it's really difficult to have students dive right into those readings and come prepared and confident in discussing something that they may have seen for the first time, language that they're not sure about, and so on. And so what I found is really effective if I know those kinds of articles are coming up or chapter readings, that I will do a pre-lecture on the readings first. And so that students have some shared understanding and context so that when they go into the readings, they are encountering vocabulary that we've already discussed in class, that they already have a general kind of big picture idea of what this article or chapter is trying to discuss. And so that's one thing I've done that seems to increase students' willingness to read and then later participate and share the readings. The other thing that I've done um, to ensure that they actually participate is, again, rethinking my role. Rather than having them participate with me checking their understanding, what I typically will do is have them work in small groups and have them be accountable to each other. So for example, if there are four readings or five readings, I will have them group into groups of five and self-assign a number one through five. And then one of them will be responsible for reading number one, although they'll be expected to read all four readings. And then they will have to present that to their peer, a summary, key points, what they thought was confusing and what they thought was compelling. And then as a group, we will cover all five readings. But when they have to be accountable to their peers, when we're spending class time in small groups where they go around and they have to share their understanding of the reading and their peers are counting on them for that information, I found that they're much more likely to have done the readings. And then I, of course, follow up and check understanding in the whole group. So doing things like that, even with, I do micro presentations in a group of 200, there might be, um, a presentation on different teaching strategies or assessment strategies or different concepts, I'll have them present in that same sort of format where they'll present five different things, um, each one taking one strategy, for example, presenting to their peers, providing a handout to their peers, and then we as a large group will go over all five strategies together. So that kind of format where you kind of make the class a smaller space and they're accountable to four other peers makes it much more relevant um, and likely that students are going to be participants in the class.